So D23 has come and passed, and we've already talked about some of the footage that we saw from some of the trailers, such as Indiana Jones, as well as Loki Season 2. Definitely go check out those videos if you haven't already, but we're going to discuss some of the other ones as well. I didn't want to release anything on Sunday, because Sundays I know usually aren't the best days to upload, so I just waited today. So let's talk about Black Panther Wakanda Forever. So this is going to be Disney and Marvel's next movie. Like, this one's the next, next one. So they're really putting a lot of emphasis into this one right now, and right so I think this is one of the most hype movies of the year and one that everybody's anticipating so much so before we get into it we got, gotta say it RIP to Chadwick Boseman who of course tragically passed and so this movie is definitely gonna be a heavy one for all of the fans and everybody who just knew about Chadwick because I think he was such a strong presence in the MCU and in Hollywood in general it is definitely a sad thing to note that he will not be in this movie but we're gonna go ahead and talk about Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, and the footage that they showed at D23. They also had a tribute for Chadwick, which I thought was definitely something worth noting. And I don't know if we'll see that video. I know there's been some like people talking about it, what they showed and all of that. Hopefully they will show that video because I think that they should definitely honor his legacy, especially leading up into this movie. But let's go ahead and talk about the Black Panther, Wakanda Forever footage they showed at Disney. So this is just a description. I can't show you the footage. I have never seen it, but this is the description that's online. So some of the footage we actually see Queen Ramonda of Wakanda called into the UN to pretty much tell them about vibranium and the dangers of it. And I wonder if this is some of the scenes that we've seen in the trailer already where she is speaking in front of them and what else could be happening in here. It goes on to say do not sell or trade vibranium with anyone because vibranium in itself is not dangerous but other countries are dangerous with it. We then get an intercut of the whole scene because we see that mercenaries and soldiers are breaking into a Wakandan outreach center in Mali demanding to be taken to the vibranium. And this is the same uh, footage I think we've seen in the trailer already where we see these mercenaries and soldiers coming in trying to retrieve the vibranium. We then see them unlock a vault and out steps the Dora Milaje, which is led by Okoye. And everybody in here, even the scientists, are actually part of the Dora Milaje. And so pretty much take on the mercs themselves. We then cut to back to them. We then cut back to them in the UN where we see the Dora Milaje enter with all of the mercenaries now pretty much handcuffed. And then the trailer starts right there. Um, but so everybody described the trailer just being the same that we've already seen although we do see more of Namor and Atuma so pretty much this trailer just sounds incredible in my opinion and hopefully we get another trailer pretty soon because I want to see more of it but at the same time I'm ready to see the movie in theaters because it just sounds incredible like I've said so many times this is going to be an interesting film I think that is going to really progress the MCU in another direction from where we are right now and I think that this is definitely more along the lines of setting up a another villain not really Kang the Conqueror just yet but I really do believe and the rumors and speculations about it so before we get into this I want to say these are rumors take it with a grain of salt these might be spoilers they might not so if you don't want spoilers or anything like that this is where the video ends I guess so thank you for listening and subscribing and I'll see you next time but if you do want the spoilers stick around in one two three four five spoilers ahead so a big rumor big speculation is that dr doom is the one behind all of this and sort of leading the two countries to go into this sort of like war of sorts where we have um namor's people and also the wakandans going at it at each other in a rumored like beef that's going to start from dr doom and his people sort of instigating things on both sides and the reason for this is because doom wants to get a hold of the vibranium and in the process of that also take down two incredibly strong civilizations and that would be the best way for him to do this so i think that this is an interesting take right here especially considering that they might be the ones after the vibranium but it to me it definitely sounds um maybe not doom's mercenaries maybe there's another force out there that's sort of being pushed by doom in a way and doom is a very strategic villain that is definitely going to be a ton of steps ahead of everybody else as he's trying to wage war upon these nations and civilizations in order to come in step through and become a ruler of sorts to many so i definitely do buy into this rumor and belief that dr doom is the main big bad in black panther wakanda forever which won't be revealed in the movie 
movie itself. It'll actually be revealed in the post credit scene. And sort of like how we got Thanos at the end of the first Avengers. Then we will see uh, Doom at the end of this movie. And we won't see Doom till later down the road. So I do see Kang sort of being the Ultron of sorts and pretty much the one in between like uh doom and the avengers and one that sort of will be there to weaken the team already so by the time doom comes through it's sort of like a stroll through the park of sorts you know that's my opinion i don't know maybe i'm way off maybe i'm not but let me know your thoughts and opinions down below on who could be the main villain in the black panther wakanda forever movie also, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. We're trying to get to 25,000 subscribers. Can we get there before this week? We will definitely be doing some fun stuff once we get to 25,000 subscribers, as well as a giveaway you don't want to miss. I have a ton of stuff from movies and stuff I've seen the past year that I will be including in that, so you definitely want to be um, known when that is dropping, so hit that notification bell. But as always, that is going to do it for me. Like I said, let me know your thoughts and opinions. What do you think of the footage description of the scene that we got to see? Who do you think these mercenaries are working for? And who do you think is going to be the main bad at the end of it? We know Namor is not going to be the main bad. We know at the end of the day, Namor is going to be sort of on the Avengers side. Not really like buddies buddies, but they will know that they are not the threat and they will go against the real threat. So we'll see who it is. I think it's Doom, but let me know your thoughts and opinions below. As always, that's going to do it for me. Check out the videos on the left if you haven't already. Check out our ending explains on Barbarian as well as our reviews like on See How They Run. We do have Pearl coming this week so we will have a review and an ending explain for that so don't miss out on that but as always d23 footage descriptions are going to be the talk of the day today because we've got uh, about two more to come today as well as some other stuff so stay tuned for that by subscribing below and i'll see all of you next time thank you so much for tuning in like i said follow us on twitter culture elixir tiktok culture elixir culture elixir.com is our website it's linked below as well so find all of our articles and coverage of d23 over there but as always that is going to do it for me i'll see all of you next time stay safe stay positive you made it all the way to the end really appreciate you listening all the way to the end as i said make sure you're subscribed turn that notification bell on we have a ton of stuff planned in the coming like weeks and so so make sure you have that notification bell on because we will be starting some new series as well as some giveaways and some other fun stuff as well so you don't want to miss out on any of that we will also be going back to the podcast last week just missteps through missteps that so we missed a lot of stuff so these two podcasts this week will be more jam-packed almost 30 minutes each so if you want to hear about horror and all of that that is definitely the podcast you want to listen to so make sure that you are following us to know when that drops buzzsprout also our website and also twitter is where you can find us so definitely check those out as well but as always make sure you subscribe so you never miss out on anything that we're dropping and i'll see y'all next time stay safe stay positive